and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make texture text and add at the end a little like uh, shimmering effect on metal. So here I have two random textures I found online. So I have one wood and one metal. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a text because I want a texture text. So I'm going to write texture because I am original. Uh, this, the font I'm using is level black. It's the same as like all of my thumbnails and everything. I'm just gonna center everything and create title. It's gonna appear, appear here. I'm also gonna make a color clip that's gonna be my background, just so you see what's happening better. Then, because black, it could be something else, you know, but then we're sure. Uh, so I can see it. And then on the bottom layer, I'm gonna add my texture. So, for example, the wood texture. And then I'm gonna add my text. And I'm gonna add a transition. If you click in the corner, you can add a transition. Make it the whole length. And I'm just gonna put alpha in. And there you go. That's what you want. You could also put alpha a top, I think. Yeah, I don't know what does that, what that means. That works too. And if you want the opposite one, this one could be interesting. You can also do it with composite and transform. With composite and transform and destination in. I believe yes so yeah you have lots of options i'm gonna go, just gonna do it with alpha in today and then uh you can have metal instead of wood so i'm just gonna remove the wood and put the metal one instead i lost it okay and it still works yes obviously and i'm gonna add a sh some shimmering so to do that i'm just gonna put this part higher and change the alpha in to still be on v2 because automatically it will be on v3 but i want it to stay on the metal texture and i'm gonna duplicate this metal texture and put it on top of the first one and in between the two i will add a composite transition it could be composite and tra transform or a fine a fine it's the same but so basically right now it doesn't change a thing but if you add some brightness to it you will see the difference i'm gonna add brightness to the top one and now you can see that we actually see the top one not the bottom one you make it as bright as you want and then you add some alpha shapes ah. and this part is really uh close to the last tutorials like two weeks ago i made a tutorial like that not even two weeks i think but Basically, you're gonna make a rectangle, so I want it higher and thinner so that it looks like a kind of a light shimmer. And I like to have a tilt, so I'm gonna add a tilt. <laughs> Maybe not that much like this. And then just uh, keyframe the position with this. So right now it's quite long, so I'm just gonna make it a few frames, a few seconds. And so at the first position, it's gonna be not on the text so like here and at the last one here and you could change the add some keyframes to make it go at a different speed but right now that's what it looks like pretty nice i think it might be a bit too bright um so i'm gonna change that a tiny bit and yeah that's good for me so yeah i hope you liked it as always, there's a request form in the description and I'll see you later. Bye bye.